to Scandinavia, the world of the ancient Norse lands, home of a Viking, of Hamlet, of reindeer, and the midnight sun. This is Norway. So popular is skiing here that they jump summer as well as winter. The grass grows knee-high on an old sod roof overlooking Oslo, Norway's capital, built on a fjord. The city hall is as close as possible to the ships. Norway, like Denmark and Sweden, is a constitutional monarchy. From a high balcony, Norway's king takes the salute on the national holiday. Balconies are everywhere. Balconies of flowers, even on office buildings, for everyone to commune with the sun. lovers bask among the statues of Gustav Vigeland. The Oslo city fathers gave the sculptor this park and a living in return for his life's work. His bronze people make this a world-renowned museum in the sun. In another outdoor museum, a wooden Viking stave church, about 800 years old. So inbred is the sea that even ship museums are keel-shaped. The Kontiki, famed reconstruction of a 2,500-year-old raft. A Viking ship 800 years old seems almost modern by contrast. A bench for almost every one of Oslo's 400,000 citizens, and every bench dedicated to the sun. Bergen, Norway's second largest city. complete in Scandinavia without old-fashioned lace curtains. Bergen, one of the last few cities that still takes great pride in romantic gaslight. The live fish market. This is the place for fish gourmets. Flowers, flags, and fjords. Norway has hundreds of fjords, wide gorges of stone where the sea penetrates deep into the heartland. Now havens of peace, long ago they sheltered the warlike Vikings.
go north. The land bites deep into the Arctic Circle. The famed Lofoten Islands and their bird sanctuaries, a treasured site for many travelers to Norway. Fishing with a peculiar hoop net in the very heart of a city, that's Stockholm, capital of Sweden. Armada, 600,000 motorboats for 7 million Swedes, parked right outside the front door for a fast getaway to one of the hundreds of weekend islands. The lanterns of Stockholm, colorful punctuation marks. tables or a hundred make an outdoor cafe. Afternoon in Skansen, Stockholm's beloved outdoor museum and music garden. Garden, home of the late Carl Millis, modern sculptor, acclaimed by America and Sweden. Here in his own quiet garden on an inlet of the Baltic stand many of his finest works. A fisherman never gives up. Orderly is the word for Sweden. Everything is organized, careful, tucked in its proper place. Don't forget the proper place to drive is on the left. Stockholm's main street, Kungsgarten. The meticulous Swedes have made it into one of the great fashionable avenues of Europe. Solid and sturdy still wear sabers. Difficult to give chase with, but then there's hardly ever anyone to pursue. A hallmark of today's Scandinavia, leather clogs. The Swedes think of everything. Scandinavian purity of line and skill of craft create beauty that is recognized at a glance. Enameled silver and sterling silver tableware are other popular Scandinavian products. And again, Swedish organization. If there's trouble in the department store, mother will hear about it instantly over the store's loudspeaker. Luck turns, a fisherman's victory, a rare kind of herring. Herring, herring fresh, herring pickled, herring can is the backbone of a smorgasbord. 
add an endless variety of delicacies from a talented Swedish chef, that smorgasbord, a lasting taste of Sweden. capital of Finland. This is the land of the friendly Finns. Every traveler can arrange in advance to meet a local family in any of the Scandinavian countries. Four and a half million people live in Finland. Nearly half a million in Helsinki. down any street. Always there's a view of Finland's national church, the Lutheran Helsinki Cathedral. Simplicity of line and creative imagination, uncluttered by the past, have made the architects of Finland an avant-garde force in modern architecture. Here the facade of the children's hospital is relieved by gaily colored design. The Finns too are enraptured with the sun, almost an act of faith with the Scandinavian. A ladder outside every building and up the chimney of every house. It helps to keep the soot outside. The city is so clean that its nickname, the White City of the North, comes as no surprise. and the city is in ferment over the annual crayfish catch, and so are our Finnish and American friends. After a toast with locked arms, acquaintances can address each other by their first names, opening the way for the supreme honor an invitation to a Finn's private sauna. Sauna, superheated steam bath, temperatures up to 200 degrees. And after the sauna, an exhilarating plunge into the lake, lingering in the memory long after you have left Finland behind. Say to any experienced traveler, meet me at the Little Mermaid, just that and nothing more, and he'll know you mean at the fabled statue in Copenhagen, Denmark. First impression of Copenhagen, a forest of spires.
city's one million people seem to be living under a single roof, a roof of red tile. The word the Danes use most is huga. The closest translation of huga is cozy. Everything has to be cozy. Even the workaday cranes have a cozy house, not a cabin for the operator. Storks on the roofs. Pigeons at the fountains. This is the land of Hans Christian Andersen. The brewer's horses wear bonnets. And the quays and canals have their own language. The royal palace hugs the harbor. The king, a bourbon sailor, often waves to parting ships. More palaces and castles abound in the surrounding countryside. Majestic Kronborg at Elsinore is the most famous of them all. Shakespeare may have laid the plot of his greatest tragedy, Hamlet, at Kronborg. Less palatial is Hans Christian Andersen's birthplace. A scarlet uniform postman wheels his bicycle in front of the great storyteller's door. Denmark is a land of plenty. Plenty of simple signs to make places easy to find. Plenty to eat. One restaurant features nearly 200 varieties of the popular open-faced sandwich. Plenty of ways of getting around, but only one favorite, the bicycle. the taxis are fitted with bicycle carriers. Children limber up on three wheels, practicing for the great day when two wheels will make them true Copenhageners. Make way for ducklings. Born away from the water, they troop down to a river for their first family swim. Heart of Copenhagen, the most famous amusement park in the world, Tivoli Gardens. The nightlife is contagious. The restaurants are various. Over beer and sausages, visitors join with gusto in the singing of Danish folk songs. Fireworks every night. Remember that Danish word, hygge. That's the cozy heart of Copenhagen, Paris of the North. Winter season in Scandinavia, and again fireworks blaze in the skies.
a torchlight procession heralds a winter sport festival in the finished part of Lapland. A night ski jump ends the day. To start the day, you can if you wish, and only if you wish, take an early morning dip. It's not cold, not after a finished sauna bath. This is winter in Scandinavia. Here in the northern countries, winter comes into its own. The winter sun, low and slanting, sets the frosty landscape ablaze. snow, always snow. Here the magic carpet of winter stays put. Action on mountains that are among the highest, the most challenging, and the snowiest in all Europe. the blue ribbon events of this sport, the ski jumping center of the world is Holmenkollen in Norway. Snow loves Scandinavia. But so, above all, does the sun. So much so that it never sets for weeks on end. Midsummer in the north.
poised between day and night, a night that never comes. The midnight sun, just before it hits the horizon, rises again. The Midnight Sun, emblem for all Scandinavia.